Next, let's head to the fitness center to hear the latest on watchOS from Kevin. Thanks, Craig. Since we launched Apple Watch, it's completely redefined what a watch can do. And this has been incredibly meaningful work. Apple Watch not only helps you stay connected and active, it's become an intelligent guardian of your health, enabling you to take an ECG, detect falls, and call emergency services for you. It's impacting lives in ways that were inconceivable five years ago. The power of Apple Watch is not only its built-in features, but how developers have personalized it for you. We introduced the App Store in watchOS 6, and there are now over 20,000 watchOS apps available. And these apps bring the information you care about most to just a glance at your watch face. And we're taking this even further in watchOS 7, starting with complications. Until today, an app could appear in only one spot at a time on a watch face. In watchOS 7, developers can enable multiple complications, making even more richly personal watch faces. So if you like to use Dawn Patrol for surfing, you can create your own surf watch, including water temperature, swell, and wind speed predictions for your favorite beach. Or new parents can use Glow Baby to see nap, changing, and feeding times all in one face. While Nike Run Club can display stats like pace from your last run and your weekly run goals. We're also bringing rich complications to more faces, including a fresh chronograph face with an integrated tachymeter and an updated extra large face with a huge rich complication right in the center. And configuring watch faces has been redesigned so you can easily select which information you'd like to see. As developers with watchOS 7, you can now build your rich complications with native SwiftUI. While there are so many ways to configure watch faces, you may not have gone in and set these up for yourself yet. That's okay. With watchOS 7, we're making it super easy to share watch faces, so you can discover a face that works perfectly for you. To do this, we're introducing face sharing. You'll be able to discover curated faces with third-party apps on the App Store, or discover a new favorite watch face right on a website, or receive watch faces directly from friends and family. Let's take a look at how this works. When you see a watch face you'd like, you just press Add Apple Watch Face. If the watch face uses some apps that you don't have yet, you'll be offered each one right here so you can easily get them if you like. And the new face appears right on your watch. If you'd like to share a face you've created yourself, that's also really easy. Just long press on the face, tap Share, pick a contact, and send. Developers can offer pre-configured watch faces right from their apps. You can even share watch faces across social media. It's a great way for the community of Apple Watch wearers to connect and help each other discover all the amazing things Apple Watch is capable of. Next, let's talk about Maps. Maps is great for walking, driving, and transit directions. And now in watchOS, just like in iOS 14, you can get cycling directions. You'll see a variety of routes with information like time, distance, and whether there are bike lanes. You can preview travel time and elevation changes and navigate with turn-by-turn -turn directions that are large and easy to read. Maps can direct you to dismount and walk your bike or even take the stairs to save time. You can also search for and add places optimized for cyclists like bike repair shops. Now to tell you about how we're advancing workouts, please welcome Jules Arney. Thanks, Kevin. The workout app uses algorithms that are smartly tuned to track all aspects of your training. It's one of the most used apps on Apple Watch, and we've continued to add support for new workout types every year. And in watchOS 7, we're adding dance. Dance is a total body workout that's great for your heart. It makes you more fit and flexible, and you're guaranteed to have fun. Whether you're doing hip hop, Latin, Bollywood, or simply cardio dance, the workout app now tracks some of the world's most popular styles of dance for fitness. Getting the most accurate credit for dance presented a unique challenge. Arm movements aren't always repetitive or synchronized with leg movements like in running and walking. The solution was to use advanced sensor fusion. In dance, we combine data from the accelerometer and the gyroscope to detect the difference between dancing with just your arms, just your lower body, or when you put it all together and dance with your entire body. Then we add in heart rate data for the most accurate calorie burn calculation. WatchOS 7 also tracks accurate calories for core training, those exercises for your abs and back. 
functional strength training, a workout type that helps you get stronger and move better for everyday activities, and also cool downs. To add on to another workout when you want to continue with easy moves and stretches as you bring your heart rate and breathing back to normal. Of course, you can track your progress for any of these new workouts inside the Activity app on iPhone, which is completely redesigned in watchOS 7. The app now features a new summary tab that gives you an easy way to see your activity history, workouts, and trends, all in one seamless view. With a new focus on easy navigation and summary metrics, the app is getting a new name as well. Fitness. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, Jules. Apple Watch helps you meet not only your fitness goals, but also helps support your health with features such as cycle tracking, the Breathe app, and noise notifications. And we're going to be adding even more capabilities this year in watchOS 7, 